Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to assign a customized leveled text in Benchmark Advance. So I'm going to click on Benchmark Advance. I'll pick a grade level. Let's try sixth grade unit four and let's pick small group. <clears throat> so let me uh, pick this text. This looks like a nice one. Influential speeches featuring Abraham Lincoln. So I'll click open. When you open one of these ebooks, you have the option of creating a customization. Customization allows you to add annotations and notes for your students. Uh, so you have to give the customization a name. And I chose to precede my name with an assignment number. I like to uh, give all of my assignments a number. Uh, I give all the resources for that assignment the same number, and then I also use the same number in my gradebook. It's just a way to help keep uh, myself and my students organized, uh, especially comes in handy when students are absent or they uh, need to know what they need to make up. Uh, so I'm going to click yes. One thing when there's a customization, your background will change. You'll see this grid instead of the plain pale background. This is just a reminder that you are, uh, in fact, customizing this text. Uh, you basically made a copy of it to share with your class. Uh, I'm in edit mode, um, so I have some tools over here to make annotations. If I click on the wrench, I have uh, some drawing tools, some uh, shapes, shades, text writing tools, things like that nature. And I'm going to go to, let's see, here's where the text actually starts. One of the resources that you might want to consider using, if you click on Teacher Resources, many of the level texts have these text evidence question cards. Not all ebooks have them, but many of them do. These load in a separate window. And there are some information here. Uh, the, for the teacher. Um, and if you scroll down, there are some text evidence cards. Sometimes these text evidence cards are printed a little backwards and they appear a little funny, especially on a Windows device. But if I highlight the question on the front of the card and click copy, I've copied a comprehension question here. And again, this is a little strange because you can't read it sometimes. Um, this question here is more like what the card is supposed to look like. You see the question is here using context clues. And if I flip the card over, there's an answer. And the answer has a page reference and also a standards reference. So this tells me that the student, uh, to find the answer to this question, they need to look at page 12 of the uh, text. If I flip the question back around, I can copy this question and add it to a note on my customization that I'm creating. Now, this card has a similar question, but it's just hard to read because there's a flaw in the program, and I'm actually looking at the back side of this card with the answer. This occurs whenever uh, the answer information spills over onto a second page. However, I can highlight the question and uh, <clears throat> copy it as I did before. And now if I go back to the tab that has my customization, Again, look here, the answer is on page two and a little bit more information on page four. So I'm going to put this question on page four of my customization. Here's page four, and I'm going to add it as a sticky note. I can choose any color I want. Let me pick a green one. And then if I click here, it's going to insert a blank green sticky note, and I can choose paste to paste the text of that question. Now, when my students open this customization, they will see this green sticky note, and they'll know that that's a signal to them that they need to... Uh, again, include that uh, answer before they turn the assignment in. I need to save this, click the cloud button. I get a verification here that the changes have been saved. Then I can go to the next question card and copy the text of this question, flip for the answer, and look, the answer to this question is on page two of the text. So I'm going to go back over to page two of my customization. That's this page. And I will add another question. Let's see, this time I'll use a yellow note. Put the sticky note right there. And now my students will see this question. I'm going to click the cloud. I should click the cloud to back these up every time. Uh, and when I'm done adding questions, I may also want to underline key parts of the text. Or I may want to use the highlighter, maybe to uh, annotate you know, specific vocabulary words or key points or any other uh, 
help that I want to give the students. I can also add free text. Uh, instead of adding a sticky note, I could just add a text box and maybe add some kind of question or, or a message to my students here. So basically, I can put as many customized annotations as I want. Make sure you click Save before you leave. And when I'm done, I click Done on Edit Mode. And now I can go back. And there is the influential speeches. I can select the customization. Make sure you select the correct customization. And now I have the option of either adding it to an assignment. There's the resource there. And I can add additional instructions if I would like. Select my class. Select my students. Select a start date and a due date. Click Save. Oh, I have to give it an assignment name. Ha <laughs> ha. And now if I click Save, the assignment will be assigned to my class. Hello, boys and girls. I'm going to show you how to open an assignment in Benchmark Universe from your teacher. First, click on the big blue button for assignments. And now you'll see a list of all the assignments that your teacher has given you. My teacher has given me a lot of assignments. This is the one that I need to open, Influential Speeches. So I'm going to click on it. And when I want to open the assignment, I need to go over here to the blue picture of the open book under the word open. I'm going to click on the blue book and that will load the book that I need to read. Might take a few seconds for the book to open. And there it is. This is a book about influential speeches. And if I click on this little turned corner, it will flip the book open just like a real book. If I click again, I can flip the page to the first page. And I see that my teacher has left some information for me. There's some underlines and some things that are highlighted. These are things that my teacher has added to the book for me to look at. There's also a yellow note here. If I click on that, there's a question here for me to answer. The question says, what was Lincoln's goal in the first paragraph of his speech? I will probably find the answer to this question somewhere on this page. And when I want to answer this question, I can go over to the wrench, click on that, and add my own note. If I click on this button, I can add a sticky note, and I can pick any color I want. I'm going to pick this yellow, and I'm going to click over here underneath where my teacher left a question, and I'm going to type my answer here. Of course, you're going to type a real answer. Don't type my answer here like I did. I'm just using an example. When I'm done typing my answer, I'm going to click on the Save button, which is the cloud with the arrow. And notice the program tells me that my changes have been saved. And I can continue reading the book by flipping the pages. I can also flip the pages backwards if I'd like to go back. And I can continue to answer the questions that my teacher has left for me. Here's another question here for me to answer. Again, keep, keep hitting the Save button every time you add an answer. And when you are done, you can click on Done, and it will close that window. When you are back on this screen, you can open the book again later, maybe if you need to finish another time. When you're completely done with the assignment, click on this yellow circle for done, and that will change it to a green check mark. This tells your teacher that you are done with your assignment and you would like your teacher to grade it. And then you can close. So I hope you've, oh, and look, the assignment now has a green check mark. That tells me that it's done and turned in. And now my teacher can grade it. For more information on Benchmark Advance or all other things EdTech, contact your friendly EdTech specialist.